I support Donald Trump because as a Greek American, it has a lot to do with my culture and my heritage here in the States. About 60 to 70 years ago, my family came over from Greece and they came here for the American dream. I believe that Donald Trump will keep the American dream alive. Donald Trump stands for everything that's good, everything that we need, what needs to be changed in our society today. So in terms of being on which side, I think I'm on the correct side. I think he'll bring the change that we need in a society. And it's not an easy thing to do. And that's why he stepped up to the plate against all odds. I think one important thing to consider that there's been statements that have come out that shown that almost 90% of the media is controlled by the Democrats and the liberals. That's a very difficult thing to step up against. I think not only has he done that, but he's actually taking advantage of that. Now, Trump has been saying some terrible things about immigrants, you know, as a son of immigrants. How do you get all those statements? I think one of the biggest misconceptions for the Donald Trump campaign is that we're being fed the message that he is a racist, he is against immigration. Donald Trump is actually pro-immigration, but he's pro-legal immigration. That's one of the reasons why I do support Donald Trump because he supports and represents what my family, like millions of others, especially within the Greek community, do represents here in the States. My family, just to give you an example, they couldn't come to the States. Instead of coming into the States illegally in the 50s, they took a boat to Australia, stayed there for three years until they can properly come back or come into the United States to join their family. But the thing is they did it the legal and the proper way. How do you think a Trump presidency would deal with Greek issues. And knowing and understanding the situations in Greece because I am there so often every six weeks. We need a president, a US president, that will tell the Greeks and Greek Americans exactly how it is. In the past, we've experienced too much sympathy, too much words and no action. And I think that's what needs to change. Just to give you an example, I think Greek reporter, you guys put on your site the difference of when the question was asked, what do you think about the Greek debt situation to Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump? She said that, you know, Greeks are going through a hard time. It's an unfortunate situation and that she hopes that they get out of it. We don't need anyone that will give us sympathy. Hillary Clinton has had 30 years of experience to be in a position to make a change for the Greek community. So as Greek Americans and as Greeks, we have to be realistic what we want from a US president. I think the biggest difference between Hillary Clinton and then Donald Trump is that Donald Trump will actually be a force of change. He's actually someone that can't relieve our debt because he doesn't hold our debt, but he can go to the IMF and to the World Bank and push our interests. The Greek community here in the States there's a big part of us, I would say a majority of us, that does support Donald Trump to become the next president of the United States. Why? Because Republicans, and particularly Donald Trump, tend to favor hard work. They tend to favor small business growth, like the thousands and thousands of us that do have small businesses. But also many Republicans had been disappointed by Mr. Trump. I think Donald Trump is a force of change, and I think those speaking out against him are those career politicians that work within an inefficient system. Definitely think a majority of the Greek community supports Donald Trump because he believes in progressing ethnic communities here in the States. And not leaving out, he believes in religious freedoms and God. And a lot of those foundations is what the Greek Americans have built here in the States. We're well respected because we have 70 or 100 years of, of, of fathers and grandfathers and great grandfathers that have come here and sacrificed. And not only that, have done it the fair and legal way that entire time. Do you feel that uh, Trump has made terrible mistakes, statements said about women? I think that everyone does make mistakes. And when you run for presidency, you have to give it your all. If he feels that he has done something wrong, right, that he feels that wasn't right, he comes out with an apology. And I think we saw that most recently. Do you think there are mistakes that could automatically disqualify somebody to run for president? I think there are several things that could uh, uh, disqualify someone to be president of the United States. And I think that's one of the greatest liberties we have as a U.S. citizen to go out and vote no matter if you're a Republican or a Democrat. But you don't think Mr. Trump has made any of those mistakes? No. He's actually one of the uh, most remarkable men I've met and wanted to know 
uh, the story in terms of uh, what I did and where I come from. There's only certain, certain people that you meet in your life that really makes an impression. Uh, when you meet Donald Trump and you shake his hand and he looks you straight in your eye, you can tell he has that presidential stature that you would expect someone to have as a U.S. president. So after I met him, it confirmed everything that I actually believed, you know, that he is someone that can make the change. He is someone that can stick up for a country when we're down.